Hi, my name's Les. I live in a small town in the southern interior of BC called Grand Forks. Lots of people haven't heard of it. They think North Dakota when I say that, but no, it's Grand Forks, BC. Now, what this video about is about is if you have something shipped to you by courier, by Perlator courier in Grand Forks and you don't have a business, it's entirely possible that you may end up having to go to the next town over, which is called Christina Lake. Now, that's a bit of a hardship for some of us, and for those of us who do not, do not have a vehicle, that could be even more of a hardship, but I have a vehicle, we have a couple, and I'm gonna use the mid-range vehicle when it comes to gas consumption, and I'm gonna show you how much time it takes and how much gas it costs me to go pick up a parcel from Christina Lake. So I'm gonna to go to the closest gas station to Christina Lake in my town, fill up my tank, go to Christina Lake, come back, fill up my tank, we'll know how much it costs. I'm gonna put a little camera on the roof and you can see the whole drive. And we'll see where it goes, cost-wise. I'll also zero the kilometers on my odometer, and you'll be able to see how much that will take in terms of distance. Let's go around here and point myself in the right direction. What is it? It's 133.9 for a liter here. Okay, so I just gotta put the camera up on the roof. This little guy here, get him recording. Zero out my odometer. Okay, so let's see how long, how much, how far, just to pick up a package. Well, here we are back at the gas station in Grand Forks almost. And I'll gas it up. See how much it's cost me. And I'm looking at the odometer here and the return leg of the trip is 21.9 kilometers. 21.9 times 2. This shouldn't take. Okay, so that cost me, hope you can see it there, $7.52. So, it's 43, almost 44 kilometers there and back, seven and a half bucks, and over half an hour of time to pick up a parcel. 
that's been, I mean, if the parcel came here from the Vancouver or somewhere west, it would have had to come through Grand Forks to get to Christina Lake so that I can go to Christina Lake and pick it up. I don't think that's acceptable. Do you? It just gets better. Let's say you live in Grand Forks, you go to yellowpages.ca, you type in Perlator in Grand Forks, what comes up? Well, the first thing's in Penticton, but that's not here. So you go to the next thing. That says Canada Post in Grand Forks. But the one after that says Christina Lake. And then it's Canada Post after that. So you go, hey, Canada Post. If you phone them or you go down, you talk to them. It's just frustrating because they're not perlator. And they deal with this. I know it's kind of aggravating to them and it's aggravating to people who walk in going, but, but the web says you are perlator. This could be fixed if Perlator had an outlet in Grand Forks, don't you think?